it's impossible to fix for the time being. Do 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 do. Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal and welcome back to Earthbound. Last time, Jeff came to the heroic rescue of Ness and Paula, and then he crashed the Skyrunner into the room that they're being held, stranding himself and us forever. Well, this has been Earthbound, everybody. See you for the next Let's Play, which will be... I don't know... Shovel Knight. <laughs> I've never played that. I should probably get around to it someday. But no. Thankfully, he is an expert locksmith because of Maxwell the unassuming local guy, and he can use his bad key machine on this door to pop it right open. Open sesame. Now, hopefully, you're noticing something. And hopefully, what you're noticing is a good thing, because I changed my commentary around a great deal. Let's just avoid these enemies. Uh, I'd been using the same uh, commentary filter with Audacity since, I think, Okami episode 13 or something. And so it was pretty dated. I didn't know as much about uh, Audacity then, and I do now, so I've updated it. And it should sound a lot better. Um, all the microphone static is gone, and any breathing that you'll hear from me, or that you heard from me, is toned down. It's a gigantic improvement, in, in my opinion, and will hopefully, <laughs> emphasis on hope, fully, make the commentary sound better. But here is my, here's my quandary, and I do this every so often. Um, my, long time viewers of the channel will be familiar with my system. I will address you guys specifically, asking, does this sound better? Does this look better? And that's what I'm doing here, because I know for a fact that my ears are damaged. I have gone through more ear infections than I care to count, and my ears are permanently damaged. Um, there's scar tissue in them, and it's bad news bear. Oh man, I d didn't do the thing. Uh, by the way, if, if Jeff's IQ is above 12, you want to keep sleeping here until something special happens. But I asked for you guys to, for improvement, and my ears are not up to snuff, so I have a question for you guys. Does it sound good? I've tested the commentary on two different sets of speakers and three different sets of, of headphones, including my Sennheiser PC-151, and so it sounds fine on those, but I would like to average them with yours. I have not tested them out on a mobile, uh, mobile device's speaker. Oh, man... <laughs> I didn't want that to happen. Well, I mean it's okay, but let's let's keep um let's keep farming up here. We need to keep sleeping until the broken air gun becomes a new item. Let's see, is the broken air gun? Yeah, the broken air gun will become a new item that we desperately need right now. So my question to you, long story short, is bass or treble? Are they fine? Do they need changed? And if so, in what direction? Because I can't test this on all your guys' speakers, so I have to trust that your guys' ears and speakers will average it out. So it's a, it's a happy medium across all platforms, and I need to keep sleeping here. This is kind of frustrating. I need that air gun to be fixed because it becomes the magnum air gun, which will allow Jeff to have a, a better weapon. And I got the I got the broken iron to be fixed, but I need the air gun. Yes. Have a nice stay. Please fix it. No, it didn't. Man! Game! Okay, let me do this. Move around. Because I have heard that this game's RNG, random number number generator, can be shuffled around by doing stuff in the menus. And so, hopefully, that will have rolled the dice again so that I, I get a good result. Come on, game. I don't like thr throwing money around randomly. It's it's not fun. Fix it. Working through the night, Jeff fixed the broken air gun. Thank goodness. After being fixed, the broken air gun became the magnum air gun. That is the text that I wanted to see. Now let's go ahead and equip the air gun, which will raise our offense by 12, which is a big increase. Okay, now we also got the slime generator. So let's look take a look at that, because... Let's see, is it the item that I think it is? Help. Items for Jeff. Sprays a sticky stub substance that stops the enemy from using. Can be used many times. Okay, that's not what I thought it was. But when it says it can be used many times, it means it can be used 
infinite amount of times. And we'll probably use that sometime, maybe, I don't know. But what I want to do right now is save and quit so I can I can change the text box, and also I haven't saved in a while. And then we can move on to getting Jeff some new items, since his are pretty dated. Much better. We're rocking a strawberry color, which matches this game, this area's aesthetics perfectly. <clears throat> it doesn't, actually. And now... We can go to the drugstore to get Jeff some new items. I want to show all of this stuff because, like I've said many times in the past, I'm not the biggest fan of cutting things like this out because it doesn't get the viewer, it doesn't give the viewer an accurate, um, an accurate indication of what the game is like. Like if I, if I played, I don't know, Xenoblade Chronicles, let's just say that, and I cut everything out, like, I'm not talking about, I'll do a side quest show one, show the one enemy that I'm going to face, but then fight the four that I need to face off screen. I'm not talking about that, I'm like, let's do a quest and then skip everything, basically. I don't want, I wouldn't want to do that, because it doesn't give an honest indication of what the game is like. Okay, let's sell this, and now let's sell, I really wish this was a dedicated menu. It starts to bite me in the... <laughs> it starts to bite me in the head at times like this. Let's let's buy the pop... Or sell the pop gun. And then we'll sell the... The stun gun. Stun gun, you are gone. And then... I don't want to sell the defense spray because I feel like that could be useful. Now I would like to buy... The hard hat for Jeff. Which will re replace his Holmes hat. And raises off his defense by five. And then I would like to buy the copper bracelet. Because that will raise his defense by five again. There it is. Take that back. And now, let's pick up the receiver. Call Escargo Express. Have them on their get on their way here. Because I need to get rid of the pack of gubble... Yeah, pack of bubblegum. And then the bad key machines. We won't need that again in the game. Let's deposit some money, but not all of it. Uh, let's see, seven, seven hundred and twenty. That's that's fair. Yeah, so they'll have we'll have eighteen dollars for the fee, and then two dollars for phone calls. Escargo Express, get over here! Come on, come here. There, there you are. I thought maybe that was something else. Hello, this is Escargo Express. Your delivery charge is $18. You can cover the bill, right? Yes, I can. You can take the... These inventories are actually looking pretty good, and they'll look better once you have the bad key machine. And then the... Uh, pack of bubblegum. That looks good. That's it. The bad key machine and the pack of bubblegum. Yes, that is correct. Have a nice day. Now that that is done and time has passed, we can talk to the citizens of 3 to see what the new news is. Uh, that's not new news, okay. Let's go into the tent, since that's the zombie release core- oh wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. He has items, uh, beer back. That completely slipped my mind, my apologies, but this guy has some more items for Jeff that he can make use of. He has the toy air gun, which our magnum air gun is better than. He has the bomb, which I don't really care about because I have PSI fire in the form of Paula. Uh, I have, but the bottle rockets are what I want. Also, I have no idea what that sound was. I was like, hey, hey. Let's get another bottle rocket and do this for Jeff. Now, Jeff doesn't necessarily need levels. Um, he's a support of sorts, and he will be supporting the group with items. I'm not sure if I've explained that. I don't think I have, but I'll explain it now. Jeff is not your typical support, but he is, in my opinion, a support. Because what he does is he uses items to raise or raise the defense of his party, or get rid of psychic shields of the opponent, or he can use uh, single target attacks to do major damage to one opponent, but it costs an item. So, I feel like he kind of falls into the aggro support role, and it's a very interesting role. Jeff is an underrated character. Okay, so we are supposed to go in the tent. 
Jeff is an underrated character that can be extremely useful. When he is good, he's incredibly broken. Like, I have not told you how much damage the big ball rocket does, but it does about seven or 800 damage for one attack. And there are better items than the big bottle rocket for Jeff. So you can see that he's going to be doing a lot of damage. And that's why I'm equipping him with a bunch of big bottle rockets, since he, his bash attacks don't do a ton. Why don't we get all the zombies in this tent and then set it on fire? We make it all much before we have a chance to do anything. Frankly, I'm running scared. Okay, who are the new people? I know you're, I know you're frightening. You're frightened. <laughs> I know you're frightening as well. Don't, don't come at me because I'm scared of you. People used to call me evil, okay, stuff, how scary the zombies are, what's the new, there's no new news, really? Then why did you all run? Okay, well let's, I guess we should check the only place that we can check, and that is, more people? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, that's interesting, no one's, no one's saying anything. That's not useful. Yeah, I, I've heard all this stuff before. Let's go, let's go south, because maybe the people down there will have some information for us. And by south, I mean further south. Like, this far south. Like you. You. You, you probably have something to say. I'm only telling you this, you this because you look like you're just passing through. The truth is, I work for the monsters. The humans seem to be losing. I'm on the zombie's side for my own protection. The zombie's leader likes fly honey. He makes his followers collect it. You know, bees make f bee honey and flies make fly honey. The zombie leader is strong because he always eats peanut bu butter and fly honey sandwiches. I got lots of fly honey stored in the tent to the south. I'll deliver it to the zombie leader soon. This is new. We've never seen this tent before. And so let's approach it because this is completely new. None of the villagers have talked about it, but they would have if they had if they were responsible for it. Also, I didn't mean to get into a battle, but I guess it's important that I show off the zombie dog. We want to focus this thing first, because despite it not looking that threatening, it's very threatening. Look at that. 50 damage. That is 50 damage. Jeff could die here. In fact, I'm going to have Jeff uh, defend here. Or, yeah, defend. Used a biting attack. 42 damage to Paula. That probably would have killed Jeff. And we're still not killing him. He's still alive. Let's hopefully do him in here. He is weak to fire, but I don't want to waste my fire attacks on him. Actually, wait, Paula... No, he's probably almost dead. I, sh I should have used PSI Freeze, though. Uh, Jeff, you defend again. Okay, he's going to kill Paula. And the zombie dog returned to the dust of the earth. And the fly! The fly could have killed Paula. But the fly... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Sorry. Uh, life up. Alpha on Paula. Paula, you use a bash attack. I mean, defending won't do anything for Paula here because she has one health. Uh, and then Jeff... <laughs> Fire bottle rocket at... No. Jeff, you just shoot it. Paula attacks and kills it with one HP remaining. So I need to make sure that the game doesn't try to troll me again. Alright, now that that is out of the way, let's heal Paula back up to the green. She's maxed out. Let's heal Jeff back up to the green. There, they're both in the green, and we can talk to this dog. Ah, woo! Okay, he has nothing to say. Well, let's approach the tent. Georg! This be a pirate tent, R. Now, the strategy for this battle would is to have Paula use PSI Fire. Normally, you don't want to use this on a single enemy, but this particular enemy has no resistance to fire, so it will be taking full damage, which is good. Now, Jeff, uh, Jeff, why don't you hit it with one of your bottle rockets so we can see just how good these things are against boss bosses. PSI Fire Alpha connects and does 80 damage, and Ness is doing less, so you can see that that is a good idea. It just raised its defense, but that won't defend against my psychic attacks. You can't do this, Star Fox. You can't block against this. And like the Great Leon, Jeff will just bash, because I don't really think that I should waste another bottle rocket on this guy. Fly Honey, and Jeff cannot move. Jeff is solidified, which is not a good thing for him to be. I don't think I... You know what? Sure. Ness has, Ness has the PP for it, so he's going to heal 
Jeff of that, while Paula just keeps those PSI fires coming. PSI fire hits and does damage, healing does not heal Jeff because I am an idiot and it doesn't actually do that, and Jeff is cured anyway. So that was kind of a flop of a turn. Let's see, Ness, what could you use? I know... Flash has a chance of working. Let's use Flash, just for style points, and then have Paula continue with those PSI fires. And this is a boss, so let's keep more bottle rockets coming. This might kill it. It does! Okay. That worked. <laughs> and we took, like, no damage from the tent. But Paula, his her level is now 17. Luck went up by 1. Maximum HP went up by 3. Jeff's level is now 16. Offense went up by 1. Defense went up by 1. Oh, baby! Speed went up by 3. Guts went up by 2. Oh, baby! Vitality went up by 3. IQ up, went, went up by 2. Uh, luck went up by 1. Sweet! Maximum HP went up by 37. Now that was a good level up for Jeff. So those zombies were carrying this garbage can, and in this garbage can was a jar of fly honey. We'll be saving that for later. Now, let's go back to the tent to say that we defeated what I assume is the zombie's leader, or at least a zombie stronghold, even though there are only two there. Let's go talk to these people, because maybe they have something to say. I mean, <laughs> the last time they... They acted like they had something to say, they didn't say anything, but maybe they do now. No, okay. Bye, you're, you guys are useless. You're coming up with no new ideas. You're just stuck in a perpetual cycle of bad ideas. Let's, let's move up to the north, to the graveyard, because maybe the area is cleared. Hello, this is Apple Kid. I just wanted to tell you that I... I just wanted to let you know that I finished a pretty unique invention. I'm not sure if it will help you or not. It's called zombie paper, and it can be used to trap zombies. It kind of works like flypaper. All you need to do is place the paper on the floor of a tent or something. You've seen at least one tent around, right? And, th um, and then the zombies get stuck to the paper, th and when they move around inside the tent, you can catch a lot of zombies this way. In fact, I bet you could get rid of all the zombies that are terrorizing the area with this paper. Anyway, I just act asked the mock pizza delivery man to deliver the zombie paper to you, Ness. You should get it pretty soon. I've never actually seen a zombie, but if there are any, zombie paper would be very useful. I'll be calling you if I come up with anything else. Click beep. So the mock pizza guy should be coming, although mock pizza takes a long time to arrive. But luckily he sent him, he sent him here a long time before calling. While delivering pizza, this weird guy asked me to help him out. He wanted me to del to li bleh. he wanted me to deliver this to something someone named Ness, who is wandering around Threed. No one knows no one else knows about this, right? Let's just pretend that you're Ness, and I'll give it to you. Oh, hello Ness. Just go along with me on this one, okay? I made the decision that you're Ness, no matter what. Ness got the zombie paper. That's right, Ness. Wink wink. I've done my duty and given you Apple Kid's thingamajig. Well, goodbye. Thank you, Carnival Man, who looks like Mr. T again. Well, this zombie paper seems like it would do the trick for the people of Threed, so let's return to the circus tent yet again and see if maybe they, this will be useful. We should try zombie paper or some kind of trap. We have to do something. Okay, let's take the zombie paper and use it. Ness placed the zombie paper on the floor. And we can't... Oh, wait. Can we see it? Is this square or the zombie? I don't know. But that should... That should definitely do the trick. Let's talk to her again. Just imagine, when we wake up tomorrow morning. Ugh, shiver. It'll be really gross. I'll bet. I mean, flypaper is nothing to to laugh about. It's kind of disgusting stuff. But, this should do the trick if Apple Kids inventions are... If their track record holds up, then it should solve this people's cr these people cr yeah, these people's cr conundrum. I can't talk. Now, let's go ahead and do that. Do what she said. She said in the morning, everything will be right and happy in the world. So let's stay the night one more time. How many times have we stayed the night this episode? And see just exactly where the dice lie. So, we don't particularly care about ridding this town of the zombies. They're not particularly doing anything harmful, but 
they were blocking our path to that underground uh, underground passageway. So now, that area is cleared and we can go that way. But, I mean, we helped the people of Threed in the process, so that's an added perk. Although it's still all creepy and zombie-ish out, and the stupid puppet man's still there. <laughs> Earthbound is not afraid to push the limits of, of its console. Like, this game slows down a lot. You might not understand my saying this, but poor zombies. Yuck, we caught a bunch of zombies. Ugh, it's really gross. I was able to arrest many zombies because of your help. Arrest sounds strange, doesn't it? Yeah, it kind of does. Who arrests zombies? I mean, they kill them. We did it. Did you look in the tent? Yaha! We taught these stupid zombies a lesson. Let's see what they look like in there. Good. That's that is kind of gross. They look like flies. Okay, what do you what do you say? Those zombies stuck to the floor. I wonder if they could still get me. I don't care what happens to anyone else. I just want to save my own skin. Zombie paper really works. So I hope someone comes up with pretty girl paper. Oops, that wasn't a nice thing to say, and it was also very creepy. I may I may or may not report you to the authorities. I don't care if I pass away. Ha! I'm dead anyway. There's no response. Ugh. Ugh. Could you help me? Maybe not. You humans are such cowards. You're the enemy of all zombies. You monster! No response again. I blame you for the rest of my <laughs> life. If I try to get away, my body will just fall apart. It's because I'm a zombie. You don't say. Oh, okay, the still the still moving zombies are the ones that don't say anything. I bl I'll blame you after my <laughs> death. Well, nice. If they try to if they try to get up, their skin and muscle will just peel off like tender chicken, which sounds <laughs> That's a disgusting picture. But, more importantly, the area to the north is open, and after I buy a couple more bottle rockets to replace the ones that I've used, I will head up there. Let's buy one, and let's buy more. Now, one th cool thing about Paula, uh, not Paula, about N Jeff is that he doesn't necessarily need levels to keep up with the rest of the group, which is good because he is a couple levels behind. I mean, Paula is... Paula is 17, and he's 16. He's going on 17, but he's he's still... <laughs> he, he is 16, going on 17. Baby, it's time to think. Okay, I was trying to do a song, but apparently the game doesn't want me to. Let's bash these things out of the way. I don't remember the rest of the song, so it, it all works out. I, I guess I would just repeat it. But yeah, no kidding. He's he's 16 going on 17, and Paula is 17 going on 18. And Ness is t level 22, and he has been for the past couple of episodes. But now, Jeff's level is now 17. Maximum HP went up by 2. <laughs> that was it. Good... <laughs> goody ho! <laughs> Guys and... G gals? <laughs> he got 2... He got 2 HP. So that wasn't too impressive, but... What is impressive is the amount of time we have spent wandering around Threed, and it hasn't really seemed like we're lost. We're always doing something. And that just that's a good thing for an area, to have that. And also, I can... Let's see, are we all at full health? Full health. Full health. Full health. And we already slept, so we didn't need the butterfly, but it was blocking our path anyway. Let's go down here. At long last, we're nearing the end of Threed. Does it really doesn't feel like we've spent that much time here. Like I said, we are always doing something. It's not like, oh well, we need to go talk to this guy and then this guy. It it's it's really neat. Ta-da! There's a skip sandwich DX inside. Ness takes it. Now a skip sandwich DX is just a, a newer version of the skip sandwich. Um I believe it lasts longer and makes us go faster, so it can be even more useful. And there are zombies in here, which is special. We haven't fought many zombies, if any, yet. So, this, yeah, actually, we hadn't fought any. So, let's fight them for the first time. Paula, you can use PSI Fire because they're immensely weak to that. And Jeff, I'll have you shoot the urban zombie bee. 
No, that wasn't a stutter. It is Urban Zombie B. Laughing hysterically, and Ness misses. Ness is really the hero of the group. He's always missing his attacks. Let's use <laughs> let's p use PSI Fire A and use Shoot and finish these things off. Nice. They're not too they're not too difficult, though they will be doing they do do some damage, a little bit of damage. And inside the casket is ta-da! A silver bracelet. Really? Okay, uh, that will go to whoever has the lowest defense. That's Jeff. Uh... You know, I'm tempted to put this on Paula. You know what, yeah, I'm gonna put it on Paula, because the defense differential here is only one, but the HP difference is gigantic. It's absolutely massive. So let me equip the silver bracelet. Oh, wait, I need... <laughs> that's... <laughs> I need to move it over. Ness, give this to Paula. There. Now, Paula, equip this and raise your defense by five. That's a good increase. It should account for her lack of HP. And now we'll carry on. Through the fire and the flames. Literally the fire and the flames because Paula has PSI fire. We will carry on. But unfortunately, these zombies won't. Gyork! York. Since you had fly honey, I considered you a friend. But actually, you're just a commoner. I am a mortal enemy of your kind. Mini barf attacks. This is where the game, it, well, the game's motto starts coming into play. The marketing campaign motto for Earthbound in North America was this game stinks. And it, well, it makes sense that that didn't do too well. But PSI Frieza should put an end to this little thing's reign of disgusting terror. PSI Frieza does a damage. Okay, I guess not. Stinky breath, Ness is crying, and everyone is crying. So let's have Ness use PSI Rockin'. Paula, you can use, let's try Fire. And then Jeff, you can use another bottle rocket since I'm not going to have you bash anyway. Free, uh, fire comes out, does 80 damage, that's the attack I wanted to use on the mini barf, and now the bottle rocket connects, does a lot of damage, and the rock and alpha comes in, and doesn't finish it off. It was close, but it doesn't finish it off. But this should. Fire alpha hits, 95 damage, and it's still going. Man, barf is much, it's much more strong than I thought. It is a resilient thing. I'm surprised humanity has not found a way to harness this strange material and build buildings out of it. Ness's level is now 23, finally! Offense went up by 1, defense went up by 1, guts went up by 1, IQ went up by 1, luck went up by 1, maximum HP went up by 3, PP went up by 3. Paul's level is now 18, offense went up by 1, maximum HP went up by 3. Jeff's level is now 18, offense went up by 2, maximum HP went up by 2. I wanted to get your fly honey and gulp it down. Master Belch and I love fly honey. Yorg. Yorg. That is the first member of a race that we will be getting to know only too well. You must have a long, tough road ahead of you. Do you not? No, there's no need to explain. I already know. You must be hungry. This is good timing for you. I happen to be carrying something to eat. What would you like? Uh, nothing. Please, by all means, come again. Ah, I just remembered. There's a village with many interesting people just ahead. You should go there and visit. I heard that the name of the village is Saturn Valley, but it cannot be found on any map. Interesting. So we have reached a new area, and we'll be exploring that and hopefully reaching this mysterious Saturn Valley filled with interesting people next time. At, at long last, we're out of zombie infi infected waters, lands, and we're into an area that reminds me only too well of Peaceful Rest Valley. But hopefully it won't carry on that legacy as one of the more treacherous areas in the game. And we'll have a much easier way next time on Earthbound. If you like this, uh, this new commentary setup, then comment and tell me if it needs any improvement or if it's perfectly fine where it is. Either comment I appreciate because they'll both help me improve. 
and I release new episodes of Earthbound Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Saturdays are long episodes, and I will see you guys next time for another Pal Plays Earthbound. Mm-hmm.